Hey guys, it's Extreme 3D, and uh, I'm going to do a little 3D printing Q&A right now, so let's get started. Thank you for Disrupt It Yourself uh, for nominating me. And uh, right now, um, I'm just gonna dive right into it. Uh, but first, actually, um, I have an announcement for the channel. I'm actually only gonna be uploading every two weeks now because schoolwork is getting um, a little bit heavy and I'm gonna have to start studying more. And uh, it's just kind of hard to upload every week because I'm pretty busy. So um, I'm gonna try to upload a video for you guys every two weeks. Sorry about that. Um, this week's gonna be a little special though because I'm probably gonna have two videos out this and uh, another project video about those drawers I designed so uh, be sure to stick around for that other project video and uh, without further ado let's get started all right so the first question is what is the first thing I 3d printed so I actually uh, when I first started 3D printing, I didn't actually have my own printer. I took some classes and I did some designing. And the first thing I wanted to do was create a USB slash SD card holder. So this was the first thing I actually printed um, or designed. This one I wasn't the actual first thing I printed, but this is the first design that I printed. If you want to print this out for yourself, um, you can go onto my Thingiverse page um, and uh, you can check that out. I'll have a link in the description below. So um, you can check this, my Thingiverse page out and I will have the file for this. Mine just has my name on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, mine just has my name on it uh, because I wanted my name on it, but the file I have uh, doesn't have a name on it. That's the first thing I printed. Alright, so the next question is, what is a popular 3D printer that you do not like? Um, I'm just going to have to say all the new MakerBots. Um, the MakerBot 5th Gen, it's crap. It's horrible, horrible printer. All those, all the new 5th uh, gen, Gen MakerBot printers are just total crap. They're just horrible. Um, the old printers, I respect them for their old printers. The Replicator 2 was amazing. Um, and all the printers before that, they're amazing printers. But as soon as Stratasys bought them out and uh, Brie Pettis was fired and everything, it just changed. They went closed source and their printers are just horrible now. They're overpriced. They don't work well. They jam and the new extruders are just, just trash. I just don't like the MakerBot printers, uh, the new ones at least, uh, because they're just pretty bad. So the next question is, uh, what is a popular 3D printer everyone else hates, but I love? So, um, I'm immediately gonna have to say the printer bot simples make the printer bot simple makers kit. I have that right here. I've upgraded it. I've had this for a year now, and I love this printer so much. This is taught me so many things about 3D printing and I've learned so many things about how 3D printing works and different problem solving um, with 3D printing. So this printer, I just love it so much. I've built it, I've upgraded it, I've designed parts for it and it's, it's just really great. The only downside to it is it's built with zip ties and laser cut wood which some people don't like so that's why they may hate it. And also it's a little bit hard to put together and get work at first and the print quality while it's good it's hard sometimes and you can only print a certain amount of things but otherwise I love this so much and uh, I can see why other people may not like it so that's the answer so the next question is what is a must-have 3d printing gadget um, it, I'm gonna have to say calipers digital calipers are so important when you are 3d printing or just 3D modeling in general. If you don't have a 3D printer and you do 3D design and modeling, calipers are super helpful. They're helpful for getting exact measurements for different things that you can't do with a ruler. So if you are getting into 3D printing and 3D modeling, I really recommend getting yourself a set of digital calipers. You can find them really cheap on Amazon and uh, I'll leave some links down below uh, for some cheap calipers that you can find on Amazon but this this is definitely one of the most important tools you could ever use when designing and 3d printing all right so the next question is uh, what is the best um, low-cost or free 
uh, 3D modeling software or 3D printing software. So um, I'm immediately going to say either Tinkercad or 123D. They're both amazing softwares or actually Mesh Mixer also. They're both amazing softwares. 123D is great for CAD modeling. Tinkercad is great for an intro into 3D modeling and also good for some advanced techniques um, even though it's kind of a beginner's thing. But it's super helpful to get quick things done and 123D is one of the easiest CAD softwares there is and it's totally free um, and then mesh mixer is great for just mesh mixing and uh, modifying different 3d models or just kind of adding your own uh, touch to it and uh, I highly recommend all those softwares and I'll leave some links down below where you can download them all right, so the last question is, what is my best 3D printing tip? So my best 3D printing tip for you guys is don't be afraid to make mistakes. I've made tons of mistakes. I've had a ton of failed prints, but that's okay. You learn from those mistakes, and that's what makes you smarter. If you learn from your mistakes, then you'll be able to prevent them in the future, and you'll learn from those mistakes, and if anything else comes up that's in relation to that, you'll be able to problem solve. And I think that learning from your mistakes is one of my best tips. So don't be afraid if you have any failed prints. Don't be sad that you, if you have a failed print, be happy because you've learned something new. You've learned maybe that you'll need supports for this type of model or um, that maybe different statues that you try to print out will require um, support over here or something like that. So I think that my best tip for you guys is to make mistakes and learn from them. All right guys, so that's the video um, and I'll have the links down below for who I nominate. Um, and uh, I nominate uh, EC Projects and uh, also Creative Tools. So um, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you wanna stick around for more videos like this video. That's um, how I know that you enjoy my content. And uh, feel free to um, Check out my other videos and uh, Thingiverse page. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.